The 13th annual South Alabama Out of the Darkness Walk was held this afternoon in downtown Daphne to raise awareness on suicide prevention. WKRG News 5's Jeremy Jones was at the walk earlier today. And Jeremy, walks like these can help those who may be struggling with their mental health. Yeah, they can, Shamani, and I had the chance to speak with those who lost their loved ones after their battle with mental health, and they hope that having those difficult conversations can help with suicide prevention. People filled the street in Old Town Daphne for the 13th annual South Alabama Out of the Darkness Walk Sunday. Every year, the walk helps raise awareness on suicide prevention and offers resources for those struggling with their mental health. At the walk, a wall filled with the faces of loved ones who lost their battle with mental health. On that wall, nine-year-old James McCutcheon's note that he wrote to his father, Nathaniel. He was very friendly to other people. Karen Favreau with the National Alliance on Mental Illness says having those tough conversations is the first step to help those who may be struggling with their mental health. The first thing we have to do is talk about it. I think so many people are uncomfortable talking about it. Um, talking about it makes it real. Um, it makes it more personal. Um, we need to educate people. Lydia Barber organized the walk after losing her son Alan in 2010. She says the walk has raised $82,000 compared to a little under $60,000 in 2022. You can't be afraid to say the word suicide. You can't be afraid to ask somebody flat out if you feel they're going through a very difficult emotional period. We have to talk. She explained all the money raised from the event goes to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. And for nine-year-old James, he says he's going to continue doing everything he can to help prevent anyone else from taking their own life. I would not, if you're ever going to do a situation like you, like you are, I would definitely do what I'm doing and be at the suicide walk. And the walk is held the second week in October of every year. And for those dealing with a crisis, dial 988 for the national hotline.